Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 13th of February 2024. I hope you are keeping well and had a better night's sleep than me. Cats were keeping me awake, not my cat, but other cats outside fighting for hours, uh, which wasn't fun. Uh, when I came into my uh, computer room here today to start on this video and actually do a bit of work, uh, I noticed my cat was uh, sleeping on my big comfy office chair the one that I work from all day and when I asked him if he'd done any work since he was sitting in the work chair he just looked at me sleepily as if to say I'm the boss here you're the one who does the work <laughs> and he's right of course that's exactly right that's how it is in this house the cat just uh, can sit around uh, while I have to do the work so um, thank you cat for reminding me <laughs> who's the boss uh, right, so this is a medium. Oh, I forgot to mention something that I saw in the news. Just a quickie, because um, I don't have much time today. I'm busy for a lot of the day. But uh, a quickie news item of note, which I think is a bit tacky, really. Um, apparently, in Canada, um, a teacher has co um, co opted uh, their students, young students, young teenagers' work, and stuck it onto various items like mugs, etc. You know, stuff to sell and uh, is selling it without their knowledge um, which seems a really tacky thing to do well, why did you do that that's uh, rather pointless and, and daft really I mean you know if you had wanted to use their stuff why not ask them for permission and share the profits or something like that but it seems like he was doing a bit of a grab there if the article is correct that is I haven't really verified it or anything I just happened to see that one particular article in the guardian about that so uh if you are a teacher in canada who is stealing your students work please don't um if you want to make some money out of it why not share the revenue with the students in question okay let's get on with the medium level sudoku now if you are new to the game of sudoku check out yesterday's beginner level game but even if you are new and as long as you know the rules i'm sure you'll be able to play the tuesday level tuesday uh, version of the guardians puzzle because it's always very easy Let's get started. We've got two blocking here, two blocking here. We've got two there. We've got seven blocking up here, seven blocking up here. Seven goes there. We need a four to complete this column. And that's what I noticed while I was chatting to you. And now I can also see we have four down here and across there. So we'll grab a four there. We have one blocking across here. We'll fit a one into that square there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um right what else do we have any more on the ones six seven mm -hmm. no but we have two up here across and two up here so that will give us the two two there excuse me <coughs> and we have three blocking this square this three blocking this square this three blocking this square so in this column there's a three uh, what's left? Six, eight, nine, six. Nine. Okay. We have three up here, down here, across here, and there. So we'll place a three there. And we have three across here, and there, and down there. We have three up here and up here and across there. That was the last one. We have five blocking these two squares, five blocking this square, so we're going to put five there. Five blocking down here gives us five here. Missing number here is an eight. Eight blocks down here, that gives us an eight here. Missing number at the end here, at the top I should say, uh, looks to be a nine to me, does it to you? And then of course we need a one there. So down here we're looking for nine and something, six and nine. Any help on six or nine? No, not yet. <coughs> Right, what's what have we got to play with over here? Sevens. Mm. Threes are done. Fives. What do we know about the fives? 
No, so let's have a look in the middle section then. Okay, we've got five up here, five across there. And that will give us a five there. Uh, we have one up here and one up here. That's going to put one into that square. Uh, we have 1 and 5 here, and we have 1 and 5 across here, and 1 and 5 across here. So I know that that's a pair of 1 and 5 in those squares there. How does it help? Uh, I don't know, but it might. So it puts 2 into these squares here. We've got 2 blocking across here. In fact, we could do that without that anyway. 2 blocking up here. 2, two blocking, uh, two, rather 2 limited to these 2 squares. So blocking up there, and we've got two across there and two across there. So that would be our two. Then we've got two down here, and we know two is in one of these squares, blocking down and two across there. So we'll fit the two here. Missing numbers in the top row here are 4, 6 and 8. We have 4 and 8 in the same column. That's going to be a 6. 7 stops this from being a 7. That must be a 7. And a 9, I think, will finish this column here. 9 across here, 9 across there, 9 down there means that's a 9. Nine also across here and there will give us nine in that square. Uh, we can get this, can't we? All we have to do is work out what goes here. So what goes here is seven, uh, six and seven, I think. So this is not six or seven. It's got to be eight. Eight blocks down here, across there and there. So that's going to be eight. Eight blocks down here and down there. So that will be eight. Um, uh, I notice actually we also have a 6 blocking across here so we've got 2 and 6 blocking across here so that's a 2 and it's also a 6 which means that this is 1 and 5 which means that this is 4 yeah I know you could find it other ways there are various ways to find the same information that's okay <laughs> I, I know that no need to scream at the TV. Um, uh, what do we got? Six, nine there. Okay, seven across here and there will give us seven in that square. Seven blocking up here puts seven into that square. The last number here is six. Six blocks down here, that's a six. This is going to be nine. Uh, six blocks this way, giving us six here, and we still need a six to finish this row. Um, one more number down here, which is a nine. Nine across here and nine down here gives us nine in this square. One more number for this row. Is it? No, it's not. Is it a four? Yes, it is. Four blocking up here and four across there will give us four in that square. The missing digit here looks to be an eight to me. Eight blocks all the way down here, giving us eight there, and this will be a five. Five blocking up here puts five into this square. We need a one to complete this row. One blocks up here, giving me the one there. Missing number here is seven. Uh, where now? Seven across there, seven down there will give us seven here. There's one number left for this column. Five? No, you're not a five. Uh, are you a two? I think you are. Okay, two blocks across here then, that will give us the two there. Now we just need a six here, and a six there, and it's all done in under ten minutes. Oh dear, not good. I should chit-chat for a little bit longer, just to make the video go over ten minutes, because if the video is under ten minutes, uh, it won't be uh, promoted by YouTube. So I never like to play these games too quickly, my own disadvantage. That might be enough to take it over ten minutes now. Thank you, bye-bye.